Hey everybody, Jeff with Cub at the Camper. I'm on to the uh, F-350 doing the front differential fluid change. This is a Dana 60. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, 7590 fluid, the uh, all uh, synthetic fluid. Drain out the old and put in the new. Show you how I'm going to do it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is crack this uh, fill plug. Make sure that we can get it uh, undone without any problems. That way, after we get our fluid drained, we'll be able to add new fluid in. So let's get to that. This one is a 3 8 square drive. Go ahead and get that done. All right, so you can use a 3 8 inch square drive on a breaker bar, or these are only tightened up to 25 foot pounds. So you could probably break it with, uh, you know, just a regular ratchet. So let's go ahead and just try that. Yep, no problem. All right, so now that that's loose, we can go ahead and get our 9 16 socket, and I've got a short 3 inch extension so I can hit some of these. Um, on these top ones, you just pull the extension off and uh, run it like that to get some of these top ones. But uh, the bottom ones and the side ones you can get uh, a little bit easier if you add a three inch extension. I'm gonna go ahead and break them with the uh, breaker bar. It's just a little bit easier. You got more leverage. All right. Now we've got them all broke loose. We can uh, do the same thing with the front like you do with the rear. Get your pan underneath there. Make sure it's opened up. And uh, loosen this top one just a little bit, but then you can start taking out uh, all the rest of them. So I just like to leave this one, the top, very top one, in almost all the way. All right, so I leave this top bolt in and uh, go ahead and get our putty knife and just gently get in that seam. There we go. This looks pretty good. Let everything drain out for a good, you know, couple minutes. And then we can pull that top bolt out. Start cleaning things up. Well, that front fluid was pristine. There's absolutely no, I mean, the magnet's like brand new. And uh, you know, the fluid is pretty darn clean. A little bit of a little bit of stuff stuck to the uh, inside of the cover, but that's about it. So go ahead and get this uh, old gasket, this RTV gasket scraped off and get everything cleaned up on the pumpkin on the front and get some new RTV put on. All right, so that's good and clean. Let's go ahead and get the uh, pumpkin on the truck cleaned off. We'll do this the same way. Get a bunch of rags and cover up the gears real well. Once they're covered up, we can go ahead and start scraping. Just prevent a lot of the debris and stuff from going inside. Definitely don't want any of that old silicone floating around in your new oil. Cleaned up all the surface there. Now we're going to get our new RTV put on. Alright, so these are all torqued to uh, 30 foot-pounds. I'm going to let this RTV set up overnight. Come out tomorrow and fill up both the front and the rear 
with new fluid. So I'll catch you then. All right, so it's been about 24 hours since I uh, put the RTV on the front Dana 60 on my uh, 2007 Ford F350. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, this 7590 put in it. The uh, synthetic, I know you don't need to use the synthetic, but uh, got the 7590 Valvoline. Get this thing filled up. Should take about uh, almost three quarts, so about uh, 2.8 quarts. All right, we'll go ahead and get this uh, fill plug removed. All right, and sometimes you just need a little short tube with a stem on the end so you can fit it down inside the fill spout. Okay, just like that. That way you get a little bit better reach. Starting to flow out. All right, so let's get the fill plug in, get it torqued to 20 foot pounds for the Dana 60. There we go. And get it cleaned up, take it for a test drive. Check for leaks.